Hey, good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for showing up. I really appreciate you taking the time to meet with me. Um, I know it's always busy with work life and whatnot, but I figured seven o'clock might be fun for all of us to get to hang out a little bit and talk a little bit about bioregenerative medicine. Um, so my name is Max Bowling. I work at Dermatology Plus Plastic Surgery. I work with some amazing providers here and we'll go a little bit in depth, but today's talk is going to be about biostimulators. So, um, I think you all are going to find it really interesting. We're going to kind of dive into it and truly go through it from start to finish. And hopefully it'll really make sense for you by the end of it. Um, so jumping right into it about myself, uh, I'm a Melbourne Beach native. I uh, went to undergrad school at UCF and then I actually went to EMT school while I was in undergrad. That's how I initially started out in medicine. Grad school, I went up to Nova Southeastern University over in Jacksonville. And I actually specialized and did some additional training in uh, plastic surgery at Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville. From there, I was heavy in dermatological surgery in St. Augustine uh, at a uh, dermatology practice where I did a lot of Mohs closures and was, again, heavily surgical. Um, I helped co-found a practice down south, and um, that was an aesthetic and general dermatology practice. And I'm a clinical uh, assistant clinical professor for Florida State University uh, College of Medicine, national trainer for Galderma, which is a company that makes Restylane, uh, Disport, and Sculptra. And I've been with them since 2021. And state licensed both here and in California. Um, and then lastly, back up there, I transitioned to Dermatology Plus Plastic Surgery in May of 2023. So it's, uh, it's kind of crazy. I'm coming up on my year point right here. Uh, at Dermatology Plus Plastic Surgery, I always like to talk about what is a differentiator for us. I know, I know you're talking about biostimulators, but it's important to know who you're working with because I'm fortunate to get to work alongside the true two truly world-class physicians. Uh, Dr. Saluja, um, she's a very well-known name in the community and uh, deservingly so. She's, of course, a board-certified dermatologist and she's been doing injectables and Sculptra uh, for, for many years and, and doing amazing work. Dr. Novo, um, again, one of our phenomenal board-certified plastic surgeons, and she is an absolute joy. Anyone who gets to meet her just there's, you can't say your name without like having a smile come to your face. Um, I'm fortunate because we get to elevate the level of care that we're able to render to our patients, not only because, you know, we're both, we're all of us are really skilled in our specific areas, but, you know, we get to work synergistically together, which is not always common. Uh, there are certain places where they act as if they're on an island. And the one thing about us is we're anything but that, you know, the, the synergy that we have between practices really doesn't give us any limitations as to what we can do or what we can, you know, really customize for you as a treatment. Uh, to that point, you know, we always want to look at the quality of the skin, structure underneath the skin, and the amount of skin. Uh, sometimes there are surgical and non-surgical interventions, and ultimately what we offer you is the understanding of when is going to be, when, what will make the most sense for you in terms of, you know, your expectations, budget, and comfort. Uh, you're always getting to experience the latest and greatest products and procedures here. Uh, we really do strive to always make sure that we are going to be on the front end of the newest products that you know, are warranted and we want to have, as well as uh, procedures. So um, the other thing I like to touch on is I know that there's a lot of talk about a term called master injector, and I kind of want to put that to rest because there's no such thing. Uh, there's no credentialing entity. When you look at people who know what they're doing in this field and uh, specifically with you know, needles such as filler or other bioinductive agents like Radia, Sculptra, uh, Renuva, you know, the reason you go to these people is because the experience and the training and, and really the expertise that they offer, uh, as well as their proven results through and through, which is why it's always really important to, to really look at those before and afters. Um, that's just a little bit about us and why, I, you know, I always like the patients to know why this is truly an elevated level of care that you won't find elsewhere. Um, transition on over. So the goal of aesthetic medicine, truly the goal of aesthetic medicine, in my opinion, is to remain undetectable and organic. I know the term we like to use is natural, but I feel like it's almost skewed, which is why I really favor the term organic. So 
Once we jump over to identifying what we're really focusing on. So when we look at the aging process, we really want to decipher it and understand, are we looking at the quality of the skin, the structure underneath the skin, or the laxity? Um, all of this pertains in saying, what is the best treatment for you? Because at the end of the day, we always want to put our best treatment forward to fix the best problem at hand. Ultimately, uh, there's a lot of treatments that are great for everyone. Truthfully, in my opinion, there's not a bad candidate for Sculptra. But to that point, I want to make sure that it's you know in line with the corrections that you're expecting, that you are wanting to see. Um, so that's always really important. And, and as I talk through this seminar, we'll, we'll really kind of review those and dive further back in. I always kind of like to circle back. Next thing you really want to consider uh, when you're thinking of treatments is, are we looking for a maintenance correction or, or maintenance? Or are we looking for true correction? When you think of maintenance, you think of, hey, I like where I'm at. I just want to maintain the volume. I want to maintain the texture. I want to maintain the integrity of my skin. Correction is when we really say, hey, you know what? I have neglected this. I have the aging process is really caught up to me and it seems like it just sped up from zero to 60 real fast and we do need to kind of show some more correction at that um, so when we're looking at treatment options i always urge you to think hey are you thinking in terms of maintenance or correction as we jump from that we are looking at you know what is the difference between a hyaluronic acid you know our standard filler as we talk about and what bioinductive agents truly are so Really the big difference is obviously one is going to help stimulate collagen or, or, or really produce more than just hold place. So when you look at a hyaluronic acid, they're phenomenal. They're great because you get the immediate results. Um, slight swelling, obviously, initially. The duration typically is around 12 months. And treatments, you know, it typically is one um, for that initial treatment, depending on what you're trying to correct. But obviously, we can always to, you know correct to the degree of what you want. Um, and then ultimately, the collagen stimulation with hyaluronic acid is none. However, with the biostimulatory agent, the onset is often delayed, so you don't get that immediate presentation like a hyaluronic acid. Oftentimes, your bioinductive agents are going to last up or takes around two to three months before you really start seeing results. However, some of them you do start seeing somewhat immediately, but it really builds at a later point. Duration, oftentimes you're really looking at around 15 months to about 10 years, depending on the product that we choose. And we'll dive into each one of those in a bit. Uh, how many treatments you need? Usually at least one, if not more. Um, there's very seldom, or usually at least two, there's very seldom a time where you're going to do a biostimulatory agent and really trying to stimulate your own collagen or your production of, of X, Y, or Z and say, hey, this is going to be done all in one time. Because... That's something you got to think about. We can always add more. That's not something we want to say, hey, I want to take away, um, which is a really interesting point um, because when you really think of, of treatments, I think the two biggest issues that I find whenever I'm talking to patients is an understanding of what we want. Uh, ultimately, when you're looking at what you want, there's, there's two things I can do wrong as a, as a provider. I can over-treat and I can under-treat. Over-treating is actually truthfully pretty hard to do. If you know what you're doing, it's, it really is. Our biggest issue oftentimes lies in undertreating because we want you to see the results and you have expectations. We want to make sure that we meet those expectations. So making sure that we really do a thorough evaluation to figure out what works best for you is always key. I like to touch on that point. Next, this is a partly, you know, obviously when we say the word biostimulatory, what we're really referencing is, hey, how do we stimulate your collagen? And what is collagen? Well, collagen, if you think about it, these little networks, this little framework, the matrix down here, it's part of your extracellular matrix. And ultimately, it's the most abundant protein of the body. It truly acts as like this fibrous connective tissue between everything that provides this resiliency to the tissue. Ultimately, it does make it stronger uh, and it is able to kind of flex, bend without breaking. You know, I, I, I know this is a, a masculine analogy, but I think it does paint a really good picture. Ultimately, when you think of collagen, I like to think of like a concrete structure and ultimately the, the, the rebar in that building. The rebar allows that building to flex and to sway in the wind. And really what it does is it shifts right back. It, it snaps back. It really provides that, that structural support to it. But unfortunately, as we age, we lose that rebar and ultimately things start to crack. And that's why you start noticing creases, fine lines, um, so on and so forth. When do we start losing it? Well, early 20s. And typically you start losing about 1% per year. 
uh, why do we lose it? Sun exposure, obviously living in Florida isn't really helping us and lifestyle choices, alcohol, smoking, sleep, exercise, all plays a role. And ultimately what happens when it's gone, like I said, it really starts showing up the aging process. This is another little chart of collagen loss. So starting at age 18, late teens, early 20s, again, losing 1% per year. Typically by age 50, you are looking at about a 30% reduction in the collagen. So first product that we're going to talk about, which is really three, we have Radius, Sculpture, and Renuva. Radius is a calcium, it's you know filler. What it is, it's really calcium-based. So uh, we call it CAHA for short, but it's a calcium hydroxyapatate. And it's actually these little microspheres. And those microspheres are what really, that's what actually is the biostimulatory effect of Radius. That's what you're going to see the long-term result. The other part of Radius is called carboxymethylcellulose. And that's actually what the filler is. It's really the gel carrier, kind of like hyaluronic acid. Um, that's what you see the, in, the immediate results with. So when you think of Radius, ultimately what you're getting is a little bit now and a little bit long-term. The nice part about that is you really will find that uh, you get the immediate result. Duration of that, typically you're looking at around 15 months uh, when you're more when you're really considering the collagen. If you're hyper diluting it or blending it down, which we can use in several different areas, oftentimes you're increasing that collagen synthesis. It's upwards towards of two years, uh, if not a little less, 18 months to 24 months. The number of treatments really depends on the degree of correction that you're looking to achieve. Uh, your onset with this product truly is immediate. And your maximum collagen induction in terms of results is really seen within about two to three months. So when planning these treatments, always think of like timeline. Timeline is really important to say, how many times can I allocate to do this prior to an event, such as a wedding, uh, party, you know, any, any type of major event that you're really trying to plan for. Time between treatments, two weeks. Pain, honestly, it's really minimal. Oftentimes we're either using a very small needle uh, or a cannula, which offers very little discomfort. Side effects, possible bruising and swelling. Um, Radius is a great product. I really do love it. But one of the things that it does do is it swells. So I always want to make sure you know that because when you're planning for treatments, I always want to make sure that you're timing it right. I tell all of my patients, the right treatment is only the right treatment in the right timeline. Ultimately, you want to make sure that you're planning for success. Um, if you have a major event and I see you on a Friday and the event is on Saturday, I'm going to recommend, hey, maybe we hold off until next week because there's no rush for these things. And again, the right treatment is only the right treatment in the right timeline. Uh, key points to this, uh, this does stimulate type 1 and type 3 collagen. Type 1 collagen is what you typically most noted with uh, really the that resiliency, the healthy tissue that, that most people see. Type 3 tissue is uh, more of a fibrotic type, but it does revert over to type 1 with time. Key points to note with this, uh, the immediate and long-term results. So one of the benefits of Radius is it's really one of the only biostimulatory agents that provides an immediate result. You know, there is something unique about filler because you just, we're impatient people. I, and I, I get it, I'm, I'm in the same way. But ultimately Amazon has done incredibly well, uh, not because they make great products, it's because you get two day shipping. <laughs> we're impatient and we like to see things immediately. So in that, Result, or in that term, you know, Radius really does do a good job because you're getting the immediate results and you're getting the long-term results of the biostimulatory process. There is a bit of a transitional period uh, where we talk about that gel carrier and then the microspheres, where the gel carrier of the filler component starts to drop off, but then the actual component of the microspheres, which starts to be like in collagen, start picking back up. And oftentimes it's going to be around two to three months when you're going to start seeing that. Uh, this is a unique product because it actually has what's called the highest G-prime, which means the highest lifting potential of any product on the market. So uh, straight out of the syringe, it's very firm, very robust, and it emulates tissues similar to bone, which is why we often treat it in areas that are on bony eminences, such as cheeks, jawlines, and you know, kind of everything that you would think of. Areas in which you can uh, use it, Cheeks, jawline, marionettes, knees, labial folds, smile lines, neck, chest, hands, and glutes. We'll get a little bit more into body later on. Uh, this is a patient I treated. She's, she was a little bit more concerned about this little area right here, the subtle jowling, and a slight bit of that neck laxity, as you can see right there. Um, so in assessment on the left-hand side, her cheek was a little flat. Her pre-jowl sulcus is a little bit more prominent. And then her jaw over here, this is what's called the gonial angle, it's kind of that sharp corner to the jaw. 
is kind of lost. So as we jump over to the right side, this is her after photos. Her cheeks were picked up slightly just to give her a nice little contour and give her a slight bit more shadowing right below here. Um, the pre-jowl sulcus, if you look right over here, was blended into the jowl and ultimately the jowl to the gonial notch right here, the back of the jawline was blended through as well. What you're noticing is just a streamlined jaw. It looks really pretty, very natural, but you know, elegant. Um, this is another way that you can use radius. This is actually for the hands, treatment of body. So this is before uh, and this is two months after. Uh, great product for treatment of hands. Helps to re-stimulate your collagen. And obviously when we think of faces, hands tend to be neglected, but it's a really simple treatment that, that yields a phenomenal result. Um, so next up on the block, we have Sculptra. Sculptra is a phenomenal agent. So Sculptra, what you're really looking at is a PLLA, poly L lactic acid. Uh, this is a unique product. What it really acts to do is activate your fibroblast, which really turns around and actually stimulates your own collagen. Um, this is, you think of just truly like a fertilizer for your skin because this just stimulates an abundance of collagen. And one of the things I love most about it is it is a little bit more delayed in onset. Uh, it's gradual. And, you know, one of the things I hear most notably with patients is when they come in, they say, hey, you know, I really want to see improvement, but I also don't want people to know what I'm doing necessarily. I don't want it to be obvious. So what that really turns into me is saying, hey, how can we get gradual results that are proven effective and, you know, just very pretty and elegant? This is a product that you normally you're going to do if pretty much almost always two treatments on. Uh, and per treatment, you're looking usually around two vials. Does that mean it has to be? No, you can absolutely do one. It just depends on the degree of correction. Generally speaking, a good rule of thumb when you're thinking of how many vials do I need, because uh, it's not the same equivalent, like a vial is not equivocal to a syringe of filler. Um, normally we say a vial per decade. Uh, so if you're 50 years old, think five vials. The one thing I will say is, well, aging is kind of unique. And ultimately, I've seen 60-year-olds that look 80 and 80-year-olds that look 60. So I say that number with a caveat where it just depends on the aging process that you're in. Uh, times the onset, typically you're going to see really the maximum results about two to three months after your last injection. So if you are doing a series of treatments and say we're doing six vials at three treatments, meaning two vials per treatment for three treatments, then at that point, two to three months after your last injection would be your maximum results. Time between treatments, between um, you know, those two vial treatments, is typically about five, around five weeks. Pain, often minimal. Side effects, bruising, swelling, and standard. Really fun fact on this, dermatology plus plastic, plus plastic surgery was in the top 50 in the nation last year in 2023 in um, the amount of sculpture done. That is huge. That's not saying that, hey, we, everyone, we're doing this for everyone. It's saying like the significance of the great product, but more so saying the, the good hands that you're in. Because ultimately, when you think of Sculptra, you want to make sure that someone knows what they're doing with it. Um, a unique part about me, I kind of mentioned earlier, uh, in terms of me being a national trainer for Galderma, well, that also consists of uh, Sculptra. So I do go to practices, I do train other providers regularly, both nurse practitioners, PAs, uh, plastic surgeons, so on and so forth, on how to utilize this product and how to best treat. Uh, when you look at the collagen induction, you are going to get an increase in 66.5% uh, increase in type 1 collagen by month 3. That's a significant number. Uh, and then that, you're also stimulating your type 1 and type 3 collagen. One of the things I love about Sculptra was that they actually, they've been around for a while, but they really came back. And they, they really, it wasn't rebranding, but they, they paid a lot of money to get new indications for something that we've been doing for a long time. Um, they were able to do all these studies to really you know, get it from a, a cosmetic indication. And in, that, in doing so, they were able to prove that you get this natural glow to your skin. And I know it sounds cheesy, but it's true. The natural glow that you get to your skin after having sculpture treatments is, it's not just doesn't just make you feel good. It's, it's actually quantifiable, which is really neat because they were able to prove that in their studies. Um, I really do believe this is one of the golden keys to anti-aging. You know, when you look at someone and you say, hey, you just look like you're aging really well. I don't understand it. What are you doing? Well, oftentimes it's sculpture. Um, and the reason being is minimal downtime. It's not like you're doing a laser, which I definitely think lasers are 
huge component to aging, but you know, the hard part with lasers is the downtime that comes with it. With sculpture, on the other hand, you're not dealing with a significant component of downtime because really it's just me injecting the product. Your biggest risk is a potential bruise, so definitely allocate time. But for the stimulation of collagen, there's not many things that can give you everything that this does because when you're treating with sculpture, you're treating panfacial rejuvenation. Like you're really treating the whole entire face. So everything else I talk to you about, oftentimes we're, we're really, like with radius, we're, we're more focal. Can you treat all over? Yeah, you can. But with sculpture specifically, you are going to treat everywhere from the temples to the cheeks, down to the jawline, to the nasal labial folds, to the marionette lines. You can treat everything globally. And that is one of the reasons why you just age well. Uh, oftentimes, I recommend people starting in their 20s and 30s to help truly maintain that youthful appearance. Does that mean if you're in your 50s and 60s that it's not the right product? Absolutely not. It, it definitely is. It's just, I personally believe from an anti-aging journey, it's a great thing to do early on. I personally have been having sculpture for a while for myself, and it's, it's always worked wonders for me. Uh, one of the big notable points of sculpture is the massage. So it's one of the few products that we carry that we actually tell you hey, I need you to, to actually massage this. Most of the time, we don't want you touching the product. We don't want you manipulating it. But in this scenario, I do. Uh, the rule of thumb is five minutes, five times a day for five days. Um, it's actually kind of nice. You take a moment for yourself. It's more of you time. Uh, generally speaking, morning, noon, and night, and twice at the light is the rule of thumb. The light, Twice at the light, meaning twice in the car when you're stopped at a red light, massage your face. Uh, so this is a little bit further in-depth components of sculpture. When we look here, we're looking at PLLA. Those are the microparticles. That's the actual sculpture particle, particle itself. That's it coming over here and activating these little fibroblasts. Then ultimately what you're seeing is an increase in the matrix of the collagen. So if you notice on that far left side, it's not as dense. The fibrils of these collagen, uh, collagen fibrils are really kind of scraggly, for lack of a better term. And then if you look over on the right side, you're seeing it's much more robust. What that's doing for you, it's allowing the resiliency to have your skin just snap back into place. And ultimately, you get a strength of dermal thickness. And what we do oftentimes, it's, it's kind of a cool thing. We have people do what's called a pinch test. So if you take your cheek and you were to pinch it to the side, and you see how thick it is, um, that's your pinch test. That's the dermal thickness that you would see. And ultimately, after doing sculpture treatments, you would actually expect that to thicken, increase in size. It's kind of cool, or increase in thickness. Um, that's you showing that, hey, you have an increase in dermal thickness. Uh, next, uh, this is something we were looking at, the increase of type 1 collagen. Just as I told you before, the increase is 66.5% of type 1 collagen is very significant by month three. Now, again, that's month three. Uh, this is after that one treatment, so just allocate the time uh, for that series. Like I said, where to use it? Cheeks, temples, folds, jawline, marionette, smile lines, neck, chest, glutes. This is a great before and after of Sculptra. Uh, what you're noticing here is really just an overall improvement of the face. Now, this was only with three vials. You're going to see the improvement over to the cheek line uh, as it picks up and just softens the tissue. You know, this is not meant to be a treatment that you walk in and someone knows, oh my gosh, hey, you got your lips done or you got this done. This is meant for someone to just say, hey, wow, like you look like you just aged better. I don't understand what it is. Did you get a haircut? Um, this is a male. We can't forget our men. Um, this is a 33 year old male. He had six files of Sculptra and things I'd actually really love to see with this. And this is at 12 months, which I love because people always want longevity and duration. Uh, if you take a look at his jawline, you know, it really is much more defined, much more contoured, cheeks picked up slightly, and really that submalar space, which is this hollowing below the cheek, has really just been a little bit more robust. Now, for a male, we like that lower body fullness. For a male, we like the upper body fullness of the cheeks. Uh, but it's neat how you can really manipulate this to do it what you want with it. Again, this is a beautiful 44-year-old. This was over four sessions, eight treatments, and ultimately what you're seeing to the cheeks is just a nice pickup of the cheeks. This little smile line right down here, far less prominent, and overall just a global improvement. Nasal labial folds are softened. And again, this is just a treatment that it just looks good. It's one of the few things I can really, it's the most simple thing I can say about it. Uh, then we have a different product in and of itself. So we talked about Radius, we talked about Sculptra, and then there's kind of this different uh, one. Renuva, on the other hand, Renuva is a bit different. So Renuva is not a 
traditional biostimulatory agent. What Renuva truly is, is it is actually a cadaveric tissue. So it's donor tissue. Um, when we think of fat, we always want it back in our face. All right. As you age, ultimately, when you think of the aging process, the fat to the cheeks, the fat to the face, all the pockets that are the deep pockets of the face, they go away. And it's really unfortunate because we want to keep that there. You can take fat away anywhere else in the body. Trust me, I'm the first person to say, take it away. But for the face, you want to keep it. Um, and ultimately, when you're looking at the body, or when you're looking at the face, there's not many ways to truly replace fat. As we're talking about radius and Sculptra, those agents help to re-stimulate your collagen, help with that dermal thickness, help the elasticity of your tissue, but it's not replacing that deep fat structure. Um, this is a product that is truly off the shelf fat grafting. So traditionally, when you think of fat grafting, you have to go in surgery because we have to take fat from an area of your body, centrifuge it down, re-inject it. And then even at that, or normally end up getting around a 30 to 60% attrition rate of that fat, which is really sad to think because there's, you know, what you put in, you only get to see a certain amount of. Renuva, on the other hand, is totally different. So the thing with Renuva sure this is going through. Cool. There we go. So Renuva, on the other hand, is a product that is going to be, it replaces your own fat. Ultimately, the best way to explain it is a honeycomb. So if you think of a honeycomb, this honeycomb matrix is something that has all of these tiny little openings in there. And those little openings in there is going to make sure this the little openings in the honeycomb matrix are where the fat lobules live. And ultimately what you want to do or think about is they're able to take that fat lobule out of that honeycomb, but leave that honeycomb intact. And then they strip all the DNA from it. Then I take that product and that's what we're actually injecting into the into your tissue. What happens is your body actually grows fat to that area. It's pretty amazing. Ultimately, your duration on that lasts as long as fat does, which is upwards towards 10 years, which is why it's kind of an you know, interesting product. Onset typically takes around two to three months to really see that improvement, uh, which is why before and afters are always important in these. Timelines between treatments, typically two months is the quickest time, which I would recommend additional treatments. Pain, minimal, side effects, just like everything else that comes with a needle or a cannula, and that's often just going to be bruising and or swelling jump to the next key points on renewa this is always a fun one so the growth factors this is kind of a difference engine for the biostimulatory market because this truly does help to promote growth factors it's one of the reasons why when plastic surgeons often do facelifts they like adding in fat grafting because it does help to not only revolumize the skin but it helps to retexture your skin um, it's pretty amazing how it can do that and i'll show you some photos a uh, long-term option that replaces the fat that will change with you, which is really nice because this does augment as you do X, Y, or Z. So what makes this great can also be what makes it not so great. If you're a marathon runner and you have no fat to your body, this is not the right product for you. you know, you're basing this on a metabolic rate of you maintaining fat, which you live in this high metabolic status, that status state that you can't do that with. Um, but if you're just having age-related volume loss, this is a great option for you. Um, for people who live in that hypermetabolic state, you know, one of your better options, truthfully, is Sculptra and or Radius. Sculptra, interestingly enough, came to market initially because of a diagnosis called lipoatrophy, which is a loss of fat. So you really think about what the core indication of what that was for makes total sense why you would use it for someone who can't maintain that fat component. Um, one of the big kickers with Renuva is really not everyone's going to have it. And the reason being is they intended it for that. All right. Renuva is a great product and they've done a good job with having a good, good name for themselves, ultimately because they have been very mindful of who they allow to inject this product. This is something that you can, you know, any product you can take and put it in the wrong hands and it's not doing what you want it to do. But you can take a great product and put it in someone's hands who knows what they're doing and get phenomenal results with it, which is what you get here. Um, I've been using Renuva myself uh, for nearly four years. Dr. Novo, she's been using it even prior to me coming here over a year ago. Um, and we get phenomenal results with it. But the big difference with that is originally when it first came out, this was only 
given to plastic surgeons and dermatologists. This wasn't given to any other provider in any other entity um, or establishment because they really wanted to make sure that it was in the hands of the most elite injectors, of the people with the most experience and the most knowledge and the most consistency to provide best results for their patients to ultimately give this product a good name that it still currently stands and has. Um, so this is Renuva. We're looking down here on the low face. It's just softening of the marionette lines. That creasing is not as prominent. You're going to take a look over here on that right line, and this is significantly softened up a lot. So that's with 3CC's Renuva. And that was seen two months after that treatment. This is the next patient. Uh, we treated him. We did a little subcision and also the hollowing that he has to the cheeks. You can notice that there's a pretty significant amount of improvement, not only with the depression, but with the texture and the softening of the nasolabial folds for him. Overall, great improvement. This is the same patient uh, that we treated, and this is after one treatment really helped to retexture the skin. This isn't always a go-to for acne treatments. You know, Bellafil is a great option for that too, but I'd just like to show you the other options of what we can use to treat it. Um, this is one of my patients, super sweet, but she had some acne scarring over on the right side of the face, and we really wanted to retexture some of the skin. That's why we used this. Ultimately, over there, you're going to see just this slight improvement of the cobbling to the skin. For this, we only did a 1.5 cc syringe, so uh, definitely smaller, and we just treated that one side. We still ended up doing a CO2 laser on her, and she is ecstatic with the results and only going to continue. Need a sip of water. So jumping into body treatments. Body treatments are going to be basically everything we talked about and just how it applies to the body. So when you're looking at the body, you can do hyperdiluted radius, you can do sculpture, you can do Renuva, pretty much almost anywhere. Common areas to treat, the neck is probably one of the most common because you get the slight creeping laxity to the neck, as well as the upper chest, the decollete, otherwise known as. Um, those treatments really plug and play. Radius, Renuva, Sculpture, all work really well there. When I talk about these products, I know you're wondering and you're saying, hey, well, which one is right for me? And we'll dive a little bit more into that, but really it comes down to your consultation. Um, duration on the products, well, it depends on the product and it depends ultimately on the amount we're using. There is a bit of a quantifiable result in terms of the more product you use, oftentimes a little bit longer result you get but it just depends on the area and the degree of correction we're trying to achieve. Ultimately, I can only augment or, or really manipulate so much depending on what your organic anatomy would allow for. And that's one thing I'm always going to be very candid with you and saying, hey, what are our limitations? You know, what are our expectations? Is this realistic? Do you think this is you know, enough of improvement to justify this ultimately? Ties between treatments uh, and onset, typically two and three months, just like we talked about before. Pain, honest to God, it's really minimal, uh, especially when you're doing like hands and the glutes as well as the abdomen for retexturing. I know a lot of women post-pregnancy, you kind of get a little bit of the creping and remodeling of the skin. This is a great option to help retexture some of that skin, especially as we're coming back into summer. Here in Florida, uh, we're in Melbourne. I live in Melbourne Beach and Last week, we started getting a lot, little humidity kicking up, and man, it is coming back. So bikini season's upon us. It's coming all too soon. Um, next, things I always like to touch on. So advancements in aesthetic medicine, you know, we've really come a lot way. And at a dermatology plus plastic surgery, we're working to better, we're working together to truly be leaders and constantly evolving and, and obviously obtaining the best results for our patients. Not only do we have a great foundation of, of what these medications can do and, and what these treatments can really render, but ultimately we're always trying to say, hey, what's next? How can we make this better? What can we do? And we're really trying to work hard to develop um, and advance this field as well. Uh, so when I talked to you a little bit about before when I was saying which product is right for me, these are things I always want you to keep in mind. You know, this pertains to the face and body just as we were talking about. When you think of your treatments, you think of what are your goals? You know, ultimately, what do you want to see? What do you want to achieve? I can always provide you my objective opinion. Uh, and it's not even opinion. I can give you hard set information and, and hard set data points to say, hey, this is why you're seeing what you're seeing. And ultimately, this is what we can do about it. Uh, but if I'm not correcting the one thing that you're seeing and I'm correcting everything else on the face, I'm not doing my job. So always come in and have an idea of what your goals are so that we can make sure that they're achieved. 
Uh, probably one of the most important things aside from that is what's your timeline? You know, do you, are you trying to just looking to improve the overall aesthetics uh, globally? Are you trying to just gradually see this improvement or, hey, in six months, do you have a wedding that you're in? Do you have an event that you need to be good to go by this time? That's always really relevant because that paints our entire treatment plan up until that date. Comfort is always super important as well. Ultimately, we're looking at comfort as being bimodal. It's going to be your physical comfort and your monetary comfort. If we build a treatment plan that is embodying all of that, we have a phenomenal treatment plan. Um, so things to always keep in mind when you're coming and planning for your consultation, try to get those ideas down because I'm definitely going to ask you. Uh, for being a part of today's PowerPoint, this, this presentation, um, we are going to offer some special pricing, and that special pricing is consistent, is going to be for both Radius and Sculptra. Uh, in addition to that, you're also going to get a complimentary consultation. So if you're not an established patient of the practice already, normally a consultation would be $200. Uh, that obviously goes towards treatment if you have anything rendered but that is voided. Uh, so if you are attending this and you are curious about the, um, what you're wondering if there's something that you wanna do or something you're interested in, then please let me know and we will waive the consultation fee so you don't feel like you have to have any skin in the game. Um, and just honestly, talk about your options, what's best for you. Uh, we do ask that it's gonna schedule, you don't have to have the consult scheduled in the next seven days, but we would ask that it's, it, it's on the books uh, like we're planning it and that that scheduled appointment that we make within the seven days, but it can be at a later date is what you have it. For the special, it will be uh, Radius and Sculpture, both of which you're going to buy three and you receive one complimentary, which is a huge savings. Oftentimes it's a $700 savings or $695 savings. Uh, also for attending this, you will receive 15% off all last and skin care. And then in addition to that, we are going to have one lucky person as a winner of the Elastin Nectar, uh, and you'll be contacted by the end of the day this Friday. The Elastin, Elastin Nectar is a flagship product for our practice. It actually helps to cleave off old, or like basically break down old, decrepit, like broken remodeling of collagen and make room for new. So obviously for the purposes of what we're talking about for this uh, whole entire talk, we are really going to make sure that we we're, we're putting our best foot forward and putting our best products there. Um, and with last the nectar, it's going to make room for all the new collagen growth that we've just talked about for radius sculpture and renewable. Uh, at the bottom right here, this is the number that you, we ask you to text. So uh, the number is three, two, one, four, seven, seven, four, nine, six, two. Um, and then I'm going to jump to the next slide. That number is also going to be listed on here. If you can text your name to this number, uh, this is not a mail. This is not any scam or spam or anything like that. This is our company phone. Um, and then we will be having someone from our front desk reach back out to you and saying, hey, we saw that you reached out to us. Uh, when would be a good time to set up your consultation and ultimately capitalize on the specials that we're, we talked about? Uh, but that's why we would ask you to text that number and basically just include your name in that. So when we do call you, we're not asking who is this, uh, but text that number and that it will be your way to maintain that pricing that we talked about for the special. Um, so we have some questions at this point. If anyone does have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, I'll try to talk a little bit of things. I'm looking over on the side right now. Yeah, so one of the first questions we have is someone really asking about the hollowing underneath their eyes and um, kind of having an Italian, Italian dark skin tone. Um, they're wondering if, it's, if sculpture is going to help out with the deep set eyes. So the answer is yes. All right. Uh, is this a product that you inject into the infraorbital hollows, like specifically a tear trough? No, but most of the time as we age, you're really looking at the facial anatomy and, and, and really saying like, hey, the facial aging process is the same. It's just the speed of which how, the speed of which it happens for each person and the asymmetries that exist. Obviously, genetics play a role into that too. But for the infraorbital hollows, oftentimes what you're going to end up seeing is you get a breakage of this ligament right here. It's called a zygomatic cutaneous ligament, and it cuts down here, and it causes a flattening in the under eyes. It's one of the first things we notice as we age because we lose this deep fat pocket. 
one of the cool parts with Sculptra is you can treat both superficially and deep. When we treat deep, um, that is going to help support that bony eminence, that bony structure. Whereas when we treat superficially, it actually helps with the finer dynamic lines, which is one of the cool things about that product. You can really manipulate it in a lot of different ways. Um, so it's not a product that I would inject into the inforbital hollows, but the surrounding area of the cheek is typically one of the greater areas that needs the correction. That is the issue area because that's what you end up seeing. And most of the time when people say deep set eyes, oftentimes they're, what they're referring to is typically the feeling of tiredness. Um, you know, a lot of times people say, hey, I just feel tired. I don't know what to do about it. I feel like my eyes always look tired. And there's surrounding structures that really play into it and how we can fix that. Next question, we said, can you combine treatments? Can you do Renuva and Sculpture at the same time since you have to massage 555? It's a really good question. So I wouldn't treat the same areas. All right? If you were treating independently, separate areas, then that would be reasonable. Um, my, if you think of Renuva, like, and it, to that point, it's actually a really good point because Renuva, I think, is more reasonable to have like focal areas of correction. Oftentimes when you think of like a treatment for pan facial rejuvenation and really just maintaining the aesthetics and improving the overall aesthetics of the face, sculpture is one of your go-tos, but oftentimes when you think of Renuva, you think of like, hey, I wanna focus on this area. You know, I have an immediate volume loss to this cheek or, or right there. Um, so when you're targeting that area, it makes more sense with Renuva in my honest opinion. But to that point, is it possible to combine the treatments? Yes, with the asterisk of it just can't be in the same area that I'm treating. So if I were to treat Renuva to the cheeks up here, and I were to treat Sculpture to the temples, preauricular sulcus, uh, jawline, marionettes, and nasolabial fold, then yeah, actually, I, I could definitely do that. Um, but I, I just wouldn't be able to overlap the products. That would be the only rate limiting step for that. Um, any questions? I know that I talk a lot. Um, I, I hope you all know if you haven't gotten to meet me personally, my consultations are always an open forum. So this is really important that I just want you guys to know that what you're seeing and you know, the information that I provide, I really pride myself on making sure that my patients are the most educated patients as long as you want to be. I do like talking, uh, but I like talking with good information because I think it empowers you. I love my patients to be empowered because I really think you end up with the best result you can possibly get with that. Um, so that's a good question. I had one patient said, great lecture, thank you. Um, <laughs> that's awesome. And another patient said, we love their Renuva. <laughs> good, I'm glad. <laughs> um, one patient said, how often do you see nodules post sculpture? So I'm gonna be candid. I wish I could knock on wood here. I personally have never had a patient have a nodule. Uh, I'm very happy to say that. I'm not, I would tell you if I did, I have treated nodules from other people who, from people who've, from practices who've treated a patient that have since come to me. Um, they're not common. That's why I really talk about, like when I do these trainings for other practices, my goal in, in training them on how to do Sculptra partially is how to reconstitute the product and the planes in which you're injecting. Um, there's different ways and different methodologies, but that's why I'm really going off FDA indications. And in addition to that, I'm training people on exactly, hey, this is why we would do this for this person versus this for another person. Um, I personally don't see granulomas, although that is something that can happen. It's generally not an issue because you should be treating in the right plane, constantly moving and applying the 555 rule. Um, I hope that answers your question. There, there are treatments if that were to happen, but that is a very uncommon thing to, I don't see that. So, uh, but that's a good question. I appreciate you all really uh, showing up and asking great questions. If anyone has any questions, always feel free to reach out. Again, the way in which you're gonna capitalize on the, uh, really everything for tonight is going to be, that's a good question. Um, texting that number, and then I will have one of our front desk members reach out to you tomorrow and just follow up and say, hey, we saw that you're interested. What would you like to, would you, when would you like to set up a consultation? Don't feel like you need to walk in and say, hey, I'm the, definitely the sculpture person. Or I'm definitely the radius person. Uh, this is something where I 
don't want you to feel like you're pigeon held to anything. It's just the fact that you're a part of this, you're going to get the, that promotional deal on it too. Really, it comes down to the consultation and we can decide at that time too. If you have an idea of what you want or you're a person who you're really dead set knowing that, then hey, it's great. Um, so one person, how do you decide from Sculptra or Radius? Essentially, is Sculptra better for long-term? It's better for long-term in the sense of pan facial treatment. Again, if I'm treating Radius, oftentimes I'm trying to be a little bit more focal, similar to Renuva. Um, the smile lines work pretty well with Radius. Radius works great when I'm really trying to get a, a streamlined result too. So if I'm trying to utilize a product that has a really high lifting potential for the cheeks and I'm fighting a fuller face, that's a great product. Um, you know, if your sole purpose is bioinductive components of this in terms of stimulation of collagen, typically Sculptra is a great product for that, for, for treating the whole face for long-term improvement or maintenance. But if you're looking for like an isolated correction of somewhere, then maybe Radius might be more applicable. It again, kind of goes back to saying, are we looking at the face as a whole or are we trying to address certain specific areas? Oh, good. I'm glad, thank you for, I'm glad the lifts and I'm glad you're traveling back to Florida too. Um, like to access the video. Yeah, so for anyone who did miss the beginning of the video, we did record this and we will be posting it on our uh, YouTube page for the practice at Dermatology Plus Plastic Surgery. Um, make sure that you keep, you know, posted on, on both of our Instagram pages. So there's Dr. Saluja, Dr. Novo. Uh, and then Max Injector uh, is my personal page, and you know, keep an eyes on those pages. You're going to see the content post. I'm sure that we'll we can provide a link on there. Uh, if not, going through our website, at, um, we'll we'll post everything on there. Um, so that's a really good point. Someone asked, "Can I take collagen or other supplements to support your treatments?" Absolutely. Yeah. So taking oral supplements, I think, is always helpful, especially when you're dealing with skin, nails, hair. Um, collagen supplements, probably one of the most notable ones that we have here is Nutrafol. Um, that's kind of our, our, our big um, kind of flagship product that, that does help to stimulate your own collagen. Um, do you inject all the products mentioned? Yes. So I do inject all the products mentioned. I inject Radius, Sculptra, and Renuva. Um, been doing all those for, for quite a while. I've not only been injecting, but I've, I've trained a lot of people on, on several of those products too. I actually hosted a seminar for Renuva where uh, there were several, again, dermatology or dermatologists, plastic surgeons, nurse practitioners, and PAs and trained them on Renuva for facial injections. So uh, facial and gluteal injections for, for Renuva. Um, other questions? I have one coming in. I hope you all kind of had some fun takeaways on this. Oh, thanks, guys. I really appreciate that. You guys are so sweet. I'm very fortunate to have some amazing patients and love the interaction, love the questions. Um, always know, again, consultations are kind of key. So make sure that you set up the consultation if you're not sure which one you want to utilize or what is best for you. That's what I'm here for. All right. I'll, I'll kind of convert what you're seeing into why we're seeing it and ultimately what we can do for it and how that gives you the best treatment. But I'll always explain everything to you. Um, other than that, I, th I think you guys did great. Any other questions for me? You guys have been so sweet. Thank you for all the comments and thank you for all the questions. I really appreciate it. Oh, you guys are, you guys are awesome. I I'm very, very thankful to have awesome patients. Well, just know that you make sure to, um, reach out to the office again, phone number 321-744-4962. Text it, oh, perfect, I'll see you on the second. <laughs> um, text it and make sure you put your name in there and we will have one of our front desk staff reach out to you tomorrow to answer any questions you may have. I really appreciate all of you taking time. I know that we're all busy and I know that seven o'clock on a Wednesday can be kind of a busy time, but I really appreciate you all being here and um, I look forward to seeing you all. If you have any questions, always feel free to reach out and let us know and we will go from there. Um, what a turnout, what a great show. Thank you all guys. You have a great evening.